We are getting a look at the moments leading up to this St. Johns County Sergeant's death earlier this year. His name is Michael Kunovich. He died after an aggressive encounter with a man. That man is 18-year-old Virgilio Aguilar Mendez, who is charged with aggravated manslaughter and violently resisting the sergeant during an encounter the two had back in May. News for Jax has now obtained body camera video of the incident. It shows the sergeant confronting the young man who tells the sergeant repeatedly he cannot speak English. The confrontation became more aggressive until Aguilar Mendez was handcuffed. Moments later, the sergeant collapsed. He later died. Defense attorneys contend he died of a heart attack. We want to warn you, the body camera video we are about to show is hard to watch. News for Jack reporter Marilyn Parker is joining us. She also has obtained documents from the defense. Marilyn, those documents shed some light on how Kunovich died. Yes, the state is charging Aguilar Mendez with aggravated manslaughter and violently resisting. Immigration attorneys tell me this won't be easy to prove, and we want to be clear. We're showing this video to simply be fair to both sides. This video is hard to watch for many reasons. Sergeant Michael Kunovich, whose body camera we're watching, died after this situation. The man charged in his death, 18-year-old Virgilio Aguilar Mendez, doesn't speak English. Here's how it started. Okay, why when I was driving around? Uh, yeah, oh, stop, stop. stop. Uh, 18, 18. Okay, but why did you get up and walk away? Huh? When you saw me, you yeah. got up and walked away. Why? Yeah. Why? His responses aren't all that clear. We showed this video to an immigration attorney. But this person doesn't appear to be doing anything wrong from this. He's just standing there. Right. I think there's going to be a lot of litigation um, as to whether there was a reasonable um, suspicion that he was, was committing a, a crime, was about to commit a crime, or had committed a crime. Where are you staying? Sleeping? He points to the Motel 8, and according to this defense motion, he left the motel to eat outside while on the phone with his mother. Well, why aren't you eating inside? What? Okay, I've got, I've got some account. Kunovich keeps asking him questions and then attempts to search him. There was no reason to search him in that moment. Yeah, so the, if there's no reasonable suspicion that a crime occurred and there's no probable cause that uh, he had a weapon, then you can't search him. This is where it gets physical. Don't walk oh, away from me. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Don't pull away from me. More units arrive and Aguilar Mendez is tased several times, all while trying to explain that he doesn't speak English. Lay on your stomach. <coughs> I'm sorry, not speak English. Lay on your stomach. Hey, he stopped, he stopped. Over. The sheriff's office says moments after Aguilar Mendez is in handcuffs, Sergeant Kunovich collapsed, then died at the hospital. The defense says he died of a heart attack. How will they carry out this aggravated manslaughter? Because And they would have to establish that Mr. Aguilar um, uh, Mendez, um, he knew or reasonably should have expected that his act would have caused the death. So that's going to be very difficult. And the defense wants a bond set in a hearing that's almost like a mini trial. The state will have to show the evidence they have is sufficient to meet the presumption of guilt. Marilyn, you also learned that Aguilar Mendez is from Guatemala. He was working at a farm. What else have you found out about him? So in the defense report, it says that he was here working to send money back to his family and while waiting for a court hearing on his immigration status. And we said repeatedly, this video is very difficult to watch. It must be especially difficult for anybody in Jacksonville's Hispanic community to watch. Absolutely. And I spoke with a woman who's very active in the growing Hispanic community here. She's from Puerto Rico, and she says this video brought her to tears as she feels badly for both parties involved here. We don't, we can't communicate correctly, so it's hard to believe in the fact that we have freedom because if you think you're at harm, but I also think I'm at harm. Now we're both being aggressive because we don't know. What do you think was going through his head when all of this was happening? Fear. He answered his questions as best as he could. And as soon as he said, I went to drink and I live right here, it should have ended right there. So definitely racial profiling, because why did you stop him? He's clearly walking on a property where there's um, attendance of all types of colors and all types. Why did you stop him out of all people? And as I said, we have such a growing Hispanic community here in Jacksonville and in Northeast Florida. I reached out to several local law enforcement agencies to see how many Spanish-speaking officers we have out on the streets, and I'm still waiting to hear back.
Marilyn, thank you. We have posted the body camera video in its entirety inside this story on the News 4 Jack's homepage. We did reach out to the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office out of respect for the family. A spokesman said we will not be providing any further comment on the body camera video.